you go, man. Get out of here. Hey, Richie, isn't that the guy that broke into your parents' house? Hey, yeah, it is. I can tell by the hat. What should we do? Confirm about it. He might attack us. He's injured. He can't do much. So how'd you guys make it out here? Oh man, it was by the grace of whoever the hell's up there. I don't know how we ain't dead. We were just sitting at home watching TV. We heard a sound and I asked him if he heard it too, but he just shook his head. Yeah, at first uh, it sounded like somebody's stomach rumbling off in the distance, so we tried to ignore it. But uh, then it got louder and louder. And before we knew it, BAM! Right on top of us. It was the loudest noise I had ever heard. It sounded like a tree had hit the house or something. So I go look outside, and the sky was on fire. So worried. And I look down the street, and there's a big, bright, red wave of lava headed right at us. Shit. And so he comes running back in the house, yelling, Baby, get your shit, we gotta go. And, you know, I was, I was calm, and I was like, all right, let me look at my purse. And he was like, forget your freaking purse. Grab a pair of running shoes. And I knew it was serious, because he knows how much I love my purse. And I know how much he hates to run. Just jogging in some toilets until there's a wall of lava chasing after you. Yeah, you said it. So, so we ripped out of the house and busted down the street just as the lava got to us. Every step, I thought it was gonna overtake us. I could hear our sneakers melting as the lava would get too close. Every time, I thought, this might be it. But we stayed just one step ahead of it. I was screaming so much. I, I thought we were dying. It seemed like we couldn't keep our feet moving fast enough just to stay ahead. And after what seemed like a never-ending run of death, we looked behind us, it was gone. And we stopped. We had finally arrived right outside here, which is about, what, three miles from the house? Take, give or take. I haven't run three miles since junior varsity track. <laughs> but we made it. So what about you? What's your story? Oh, me? I'm not from around here. I'm just here for the free donuts and shit, some good stories too, apparently. Nah, I'm from Vegas. I'm just hitching around. I'm just hitching around and just taking a break from dishwashing at the Gold Nugget. You guys ever been out there? No. Man, it's beautiful out there. God. You guys ever get a chance? You should definitely look me up. All right. God. What are we gonna do now? Oh my God! We don't even have a house anymore. <laughs> Must be tough. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not just going to lie to these people. Their lives are at risk. Alex, look at me. You signed up for this job. Remember at the trainings, they said that sometimes our job might put us in precarious situations, but we just have to trust that the people in charge would make the right decisions. Okay, but look. We've known that this place is going to blow for years now. Anybody with a science degree in our staff knows that this mountain ain't safe. These people's lives are at risk. Stop. Get yourself together, Alex. Look at these people. They're freaked out. Aren't you ready to be held responsible when the mayhem occurs after you tell them that we can all just die? Right now, at any moment, because this mountain can, can just come crashing down on us? Okay. We need to obey orders and just have faith that this is all going to be okay. Okay, but if... Hello, everybody. We are glad to see that you made it here safe. As you may not know, there has been another significant eruption on Seahawk Mountain. Please, 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 please. We are here to tell you that these eruptions are a completely unexpected occurrence. And we will do everything we can to keep you all safe. 
And the keep us safe? Situation. All you're doing is killing us, you yeah. fuck! What the hell do you mean, Settle keep down. us safe? My girl can't even use her leg for Christ's sake. Yeah. So we're doing the best we can. Let me look at this leg. We were good people. We lived honest lives. Then the universe comes and takes a shit on us. No, murderers, rapists are running free. And my daughter's lying here burnt. Mr. Brown, put yourself together. This stuff can help me know when we're doing the very best we can. <laughs> Dad! You're a good man. Can't you do something? You can't let a little hot flash change anything. Honey, I know what you're trying to do, but our house is gone, okay? Our lives are ruined. We're being punished. And for what? We're not being punished. We're... We're being blessed. Blessed? She's, uh, she's losing the doctor. No, 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 no. I'm fine. Really. We are truly blessed right now. Dad, think about it. You have been complaining for four years about your boss who, who, who doesn't treat you right. I bet for once you aren't thinking about him. I'm sure I'm not thinking about that prick, but come in right now. I bet you can't feel, feel your heart back for, for a second. Come on. You might have kind of a point there, but it's... And Trevor, what about that evil girl that broke your heart? You've been crying for months. Don't bring her up, no, please don't bring her up. I'm, I'm sorry. I, Sucks. This really sucks. Life is kicking our ass. But I, I just think that life will always be kicking our ass in some way or another. If if it's not a, a volcano, we'll be worried about. It'll be it'll be spare change or our hangnails. I think that we are truly blessed to finally stop worrying about hangnails. Things. <laughs> okay. Come here, come here. Come here, come here. Careful breath, careful breath. Hey, so how'd you two make it here? Oh man, it was by the grace of whoever the heck is up there. I don't know how we ain't dead. We were just sitting at home watching reality show Mind Junk when I heard a noise. So I turned to him and asked, did you hear that? He just looked at me. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, because it sounded like my stomach is growling or something, you know, so we just tried to ignore it. But then it kept getting louder. And then before we knew it, bam, and it was right on top of us. Man, it was the loudest noise I ever heard. I thought a tree hit the house or something, so I go running outside, and, and I'll be damned if the whole sky wasn't on fire. And I just fire all in there, and then I look down the street, and there's this big, bright red wave of lava. It's coming right for us. He came back inside the house screaming, Baby, get your shit. We gotta go. I said, Let me grab my purse. He said, Forget about your friggin' purse. It's time to go. Grab your running shoes. That's when I knew it was serious, because he knows how much I love my purse, and I know how much he hates running. I guess jogging seemed pretty pointless until you have a wall of lava chasing after you. Yeah, you said it, bud. So we rip our shoes on, we bust down in the street just as it came down on us. We started running, but I know it was right behind us because man, every step we took, I could hear our sneakers melting as it was nipping at us. And every second I thought we were done for, but we just barely stayed ahead of it. I thought we were dying. Somehow we just kept our feet moving enough to stay in front of it. After a while of our impending death run, we turned around and it just wasn't behind us anymore. Yeah, and when we stopped, we were here. It was about three miles from the house. I, mean, I haven't run three miles since Tree High Track, but we made it. And what happened to you? Oh, me? I don't live around here. Just stopped in because I thought that there were free donuts and shit. Some good stories, too. But uh, I'm from Vegas. Just taking a break from washing dishes at the Gold Nugget. It's a beautiful place. Ever been there? Oh, yeah. If you ever make it down there, you should look me up. God, 
I don't know where we're gonna be after this. We don't even have a house anymore. Oh my god. <laughs> hey lady. So sorry. That is tough. <laughs> Looks like you made it. <laughs> wow, I did. I'd given up. Hey, I've seen you guys in my neighborhood. Yeah, we live on the same street as you. <laughs> you, guys, you guys helped me. Could have gotten yourselves killed. We couldn't just leave you to die. That's kind thinking. I haven't cared about anybody in a long time. What about your family? You don't care about them? Nah. I can't stand them. They haven't cared about me in a long time. I can't really blame them though, I haven't been a very good person. Look at you two, young, and full of hope about life. I hope you can keep that attitude. But I ain't gonna lie, it's not gonna be easy. What else can we do? We just have to be good and hope the world will be good to us. That's a great theory, young man, but it ain't that easy. Sure, you want to do good to people in life, and before you know it, shit happens, and you're not good to the world anymore. I don't expect you to understand, but look at me. I may look like a normal guy, but I'm actually a very bad man. Oh, you don't look normal, and we know how bad you are. We both saw you broken into my parents' house last month. What? You saw that? Yeah, why did you do that? That was crazy. That ring on your little finger, whose is that? What? This way? It's my mother's. I beg your pardon. That is my mom's. Give it back. What are you saying? Okay, I admit it. We take it back. You guys knew that about me, yet you still risked your lives. What is that? I guess we figured that you learned your lesson. That is so naive of you. I hadn't learned my goddamn lesson. I was stealing a car when the volcano blew. Have you learned your lesson now? Damn, I guess the world is in pretty good hands with kids like you coming up.